Lots of chatted in the news about what makes a real woman. This comes after comments in a national newspaper by Dame Jenny Murray stating that trans women weren't real women. So yeah, another day where I woke up and had to justify my existence and experiences as a woman to someone who knows nothing about my innate sense of self and telling the world that I am not real. So what is a real woman? Because to imply that there is such a thing as a real woman means there must be a false or fake woman. Because let's face it, women come in all shapes and sizes. Tall, short, fat, thin, butch. Femme, cis, trans, they are all women and all their experiences are real. But what Murray states in her article is that trans people should only be defined as trans man and trans women and references conversations she's had with trans people that she felt were misogynistic and anti feminist. For example, she'd taken issue with India Willoughby, a broadcaster's comments after a news story broke about a hotel demanding women shave their legs. Now, India replied that she thinks that women should shave their legs. But here's the thing that's her opinion. Just the same as there are cisgender women out there who have the same opinion that women should be well presented and whether or not we should bow down to patriarchal standards of beauty. I mean, I know cis women that don't shave their legs or their armpits. I'm cool with that. It's their choice. It's their experience as a woman. Just as some women feel that that is dirty and they need to shave their armpits and legs, it's personal choice. But one thing I would never do is question the validity of these women as women. Let me put it another way. Replace the word trans with gay. Do gay people exist? Are gay people real? Do they have the right to be gay? It sounds stupid when you say it like that, right? So how is this any different with trans people? Trans people are real and valid. Yes, her experiences may be different just as any cis women's experiences may be different, but that doesn't invalidate our lives and who we are. Now, no one person can speak for the entire range of trans experiences there are out there just as no woman can speak for all women. As a woman who also happens to be trans, I will not have my identity questioned anymore. Trans lives are not up for debate. Today, I will go about my day and I will be me. I will be authentic to myself. Authentic and female, just like all my sisters out there, no matter what their assignment at birth. Till next time, social folk.